at it again with another video. It is, again, it's that time of the year. It's EAFC starter season, starter week, whatever you call it. So today, we're going to be looking at some of the best starter pairings, combos, trios, whatever you want to call it. Now, I couldn't think of too many. So, of course, after you've liked and subscribed to the channel, let us know in the comments some of the ones that you'll be using if they haven't been mentioned here. Because, admittedly, I've gone for a bit of a theme. We've gone maximum 85 overall because we're trying to keep it nice and cheap for you guys where possible. And, yeah, that's, that's about it. Just cards that are under 85 overall and they look semi-usable. Now, obviously, we're going to start with one of the better ones, I think. One of the more underrated ones. We know about the man in the back, but we don't know about the rest of it. We've got Van de Ven, Bentancur, and Yudogi from Spurs. Now, a lot of you will say, oh, but Van de Ven's going to be very expensive. That might be true. But I believe that if you're looking to get him, He's definitely on a bad shot. Again, he's got that high pace. Udogi for a left back also has a lot of pace. You can probably put a chem style that improves his defending and his physical. And Ben Tenkor is nice and well-rounded. A shadow on him probably doesn't go amiss. Or an anchor, depends on what lengthy he sort of gets. But yeah, I think that is a good start. Now, this next one, I don't really speak about women much on this channel. I will use the women when they're meta. If I get these three women in my team, I will use them. We've got Oshala, we've got Kundamanji, and we've got any other one. But I've gone for, I think, Ajibade or whatever her name is. These are the most meta ones that have been talked about. You could pick, I suppose, the American League women. But the American League women are a bit harder to link, and you need a few more. So at least... With these players here, they play for bigger clubs like your Barcelona, your Real, your Atleti. They should link to your standard La Liga players and you'll be able to branch out and use other players like DePaul and like other people in those positions. But yeah, that's, that's meta forwards. Next, we're going to another meta forward combo with a defensive mid because I think that's pretty crucial. We've got... The Dortmund wingers, slash striker technically, of Adeyemi, Marlon, and Emre Chan. Now, Emre Chan should be able to play center mid. Why he can't in this version of Footbin, I do not know. But he is very good, obviously. A lot of people will use him. He links to Adeyemi perfectly. Marlon as well. Again, you can't go wrong. 96 pace on Adeyemi. So he's definitely going to be desirable early on i believe and yeah the bundesliga is very good for links and you might be saying why is the bundesliga so good for links the answer is because we also have frimpong and grimaldo at the back now i know what you're thinking you're thinking how on earth is this meta is this good i think it is it's easily the most meta duo of fullbacks in the game now Yes, Grimaldo is rumoured for a team of the week, so this may be null and void for the first week, but I still think it's the most meta fullback duo in the game. Now, obviously, there might be others, single on their own, that are meta, but I think Frimpong and Grimaldo are two of the best fullbacks when combined together. Speaking of a combo, and this is sort of the last part of the segment, a bit of a shorter video today, but... Yeah, the last combo, again, they're rumoured with Team of the Weeks, not sure who's going to get it out of this lot, but we've got Chavi Simons, we've got Openda, and we've got Werner. Now, again, Werner and Openda are just your overpowered strike partnership. Openda moving to the Bundesliga is actually quite good for links, to be fair. There are probably others that you can think of. Again, leave them in the comments if you like this sort of content for EAFC24, we'll do a lot more on the channel, and we've got a lot more coming as well in the next couple of days, before the actual game itself. But, yeah, that is everything for today. We'll be back again with another video. If you enjoyed this, let me know, and I'll catch you all in the next one.